CPM comes with a number of commands to handle files. Uh, the most frequently used are the directory, arrays, pip, rename, and type commands. And each of these commands works fine, but soon a number of interactive file managers are developed to make it easier to use, uh, to, to do file operations, particularly if it involved multiple files. In this video, I want to show some of those most commonly used. The first utility I want to show is called Cleanup. And uh, this was a very simple program. It just allows you to go through each file in a directory and decide if you want to delete it or not. And uh, if you do want to delete it, you just press E to erase the file. And there it is, uh, erased. And that's all there is to it. It'll continue going through until it reaches the end, and then it'll come out. Michael J. Karras of Micro Resources saw cleanup at a user group meeting and decided that he wanted to have something similar uh, but improved. So he came up with Wash. And here's Wash. So you can see that it has a, a little menu now with more commands. So we can copy, uh, copy rename, delete files. And just as before, we can go down through each file. But now we can go back up a file. So, and then if we want to, we can go to a document file, press V, and there we are. It'll display the file for us. So, uh, Wash was a nice little addition. Uh, Wash was a nice improvement on cleanup with the extra functionality. The file management utility most mentioned by other uh, file management utility authors is Sweep by Robert Fisher. So Sweep was uh, the main addition that Sweep brought to things was that you could now tag files. So if I tag that file by pressing the T command and I go through and see if there's anything else I want to tag, maybe uh, disk 77B, and then now that they're tagged I can do uh, operations on just tagged files, such as mass copying or uh, erasing or tagged files. So if I want to copy those two files that I've tagged, I can do a mass copy, and I'm going to copy them to my um, user2 area of uh, the D drive. And now if I switch to the D drive, uh, to the user 2 area of the D drive, sorry. And there we are. We can see them cleanup.com and disk77b.com, as well as some other files that were already there. So uh, Sweep is good. Um, it's great being able to tag files and it's great being able to switch between the user areas. Sweep provided most of the functionality that most people needed. However, Dave Rand looked at it and thought that he could improve it still. And he created uh, NSweep, which was a much faster, much smaller, and generally more polished version. So if I start the uh, version 2.07 of NSweep, and uh, as before, we can go through the files. The menu doesn't come up straight away with NSweep, so we have to press the uh, uh, question mark to display the help. But you can see that the menu is much the same as with Sweep. Uh, the main additions of NSweep are that you can now move files from one area to another, uh, as opposed to uh, having to copy and delete them. So I'll try and demonstrate that. If I switch to the uh, second user area of the D drive and I want to move w.com to the uh, to the uh, user area zero then I'll rename it from w.com to d0 w.com and then if I go through here, we can see that uh, w.com isn't there. And if we look up and uh, look up on um, D0, and we can also D0 
do a uh, do a find file you find w.com and there it is w.com so that works fine um, another thing I quite like about new sweep is that if we go onto the A drive we can see some of the files here have underlines on them uh, to indicate their attributes uh, which is a, a nice little feature that um, particularly with CPM 2.2 where it wasn't so easy to access and then if you want to change the attribute of it you can press the Y, uh, the y command and that will allow you to change that if we switch back now to the uh, D drive, there we are, and if I wanted to um, squeeze one of those files, I could do that. Uh, say I wanted to squeeze cleanup.com, then I could press Q and then S to squeeze. I want to copy it to the same user area, so I'll just put D. Ah, something I forgot. To do this you have to tag it. So the squeeze commands works on tagged files, not on um, the current file. So I'll do that again. So I might select more than one file in this case. There's another small one, so I'll tag that as well. Squeeze the, squeeze the file the same drive and there we are and that's squeezing it to the uh, to the current disk it takes a bit of time but that's okay it's a useful addition to the uh, to new sweep and um, and the only real problem with new sweep is that it does have a bug uh, and that's that if you're using CPM Plus and you copy a file to a disk that isn't ready, then it will actually corrupt the source file. And I've also found it to corrupt other parts of the source disk as well, which is a bit of a pain. So watch out if you're using it on CPM Plus. But other than that, uh, yep, YouTube is a great file manager and uh, probably one of the most popular. Gary Conway, the author of B29, uh, clearly liked NSweep but wanted to add a few extra things such as a real-time clock and better printing support. So uh, he developed B29 to, uh, to do so. So uh, as you can see it looks uh, again similar to Sweep, similar to NSweep and um, provides similar functionality. The main reason I want to show it here is that I want to show how it can use uh, LBR files. So here I am, I'm on disk 77b.lbr and if I press the V command I enter the library sweep mode. So I can now go through each of the files in the, uh, in the library and if I want to extract one of those files, so if I extract uh, disk 77, no, if I extract disk 77b.dqc, because this is a squeezed file, uh, b29 also has the ability to unsqueeze files and can view them directly from library mode. So if I view that, and there we are, it's unsqueezed it, and allow me to go through and take a look at it. So, uh, yeah, quite a handy addition. And uh, generally, B29 is a good alternative to NSweep. Uh, it too has a bug, though. And uh, B29's bug is that if you move a file from one user area to another, uh, then it will delete the file in the source area, but won't move it to the new user area, uh, which is a pain. And um, I don't know whether this just happens on my particular setup, because one of the reasons that... Uh, Gary said that he wanted to uh, create B29, or at least one of the things he wanted to add to it, was the ability to move files uh, between user areas. So uh, I'm surprised that this doesn't work. My favourite programme uh, is Disk 7 by Frank Gorday. It's much smaller than B29 or uh, NSweep, but um, 
but I think it offers a much cleaner interface and, uh, and I quite like it for that. So again we can go through the files if we press the enter command it'll just go through without telling us the uh, length of the file but if I press the L command it'll go through each one telling me the L, uh, telling me the size. And uh, we can do similar things to the um, to the other programs as far as tagging, mass transferring, and um, oh, one of the nice quite uh, quite nice thing is you can press the J command and that will actually jump uh, 22 files at a go, which is uh, quite handy to quickly find the file you want to. And uh, if we want to view one of the files. We can press the V command, and uh, there it is. Um, other than that, uh, yes, not a lot more to say to it, uh, say about it, but uh, I do like it because of its clean, elegant design and the size of it. The last command I want to show is V Filer by Richard Kahn. I'm switching over to another machine, to the Commodore 128 for this one, because uh, vFiler is a bit of a pain to set up on a VT100, and the uh, the emulator on the Commodore 128 is uh, much easier to configure it for. In fact, it comes configured for an ADM3A, uh, which is uh, pretty much what the Commodore 128 uh, emulates. So um, if I start the v filer command when it comes up we'll see a list of files on the disk and then the little arrow next to disk 77b.com indicates the current file so we can move around using the uh, keys similar to the word star keys we can go down with Control X up with Control E, and then we can go to the right with Control D, to the left with Control S. I go to the right, and we're now highlighting vfiler.doc. And if I press the question mark, that will bring up the list of commands that we can perform on it. So we can see at the top left that we have the tag and untag commands, below that print and view, and then we have the movement commands below that. Uh, to the right, we have the normal operations that we've seen in the other programs. So copy, delete, uh, mass copy with the tagged files, uh, rename and mass delete. And then we can log between different directories, uh, different drives uh, using the L command. So if I, um, if I go back to where we were and we'll tag a file with the T command and you can see that it now has a little star to the right of it. And if I tag another, another command, another file, sorry, there we are. We have two files that are now tagged. And I could do a mass copy uh, with those tagged files. Let me just look up. So M for mass copy. Should have been easy to remember. So uh, if I do a mass copy, and I want to copy that to B2. And we'll see what happens. Not a lot by the looks of it. Let's try that again. Ah, here we go. It's just taking its time. Right, okay, so that's copying now. And once that's finished, we'll have a look at B2 and check whether that's copied. So good, it's doing a CRC verification on it to make sure that it's copied correctly. Uh, the pain of this, of course, is that uh, oftentimes you just want to move a file between user areas and not necessarily copy it, uh, but vFiler doesn't have the ability to do that. But once, uh, once this is done, we'll have a look at v2 and see if that's been successful. So uh, vFiler would tend to appeal to people who like that sort of presentation. Uh, it, um, it does work quite well if you have a lot of files because it does present them in screenfuls. You can go through from one screen to the next, so that can be quite quick compared to uh, going through lots of files individually. So we'll have a look at B2. So uh, the L command to uh, switch to that. 
to and uh, that should bring up and there we are we have b2 now and we can see that our files have successfully copied across so uh, yeah vfiler is quite nice um, it's not my favorite program mainly um, uh, because uh, I, I just find the design of the others a little bit more elegant and um, I'm not also I'm also not too keen on programs that are Z80 only. I tend to prefer them if they will work on the 8080 and 8085. But horses for courses. And other than that, it's uh, quite a nice program that seems to work well. I want to close by showing the file sizes of the programs I spoke about in this video. Uh, so we can see that the smallest is Cleanup, uh, which is just 1K. And the largest is Sweep, which is 28K. Um, so it's something to consider when you're thinking about which program you want to use, as well as the functionality. Other than that, I hope you found this useful and interesting. Uh, do subscribe to the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel and have a look at the accompanying article mentioned in the notes below.